Hello there, this is Dave Allen for The Amazing iPad and Mac 20 Questions and today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at some things that you can and can't do with ThinkBook. Now let's go to one of my notes in this here. Let's go to one of my outlines in here. So let's go to video about moving getting templates into ThinkBook. So things that you can do. So for instance what I might want to do is I might want to take this here, slide it over there and that's put it onto the slider at the side there. And I can put it back in again. If I use two fingers and do a slide, you can see it's still there, that download into Goodreader, but it's also got something on the clipboard as well. So what I can do now is slide back off the slider, and you see actually what I did was make a copy. So that's fairly handy, isn't it? So you can make copies. Let's just delete that there, because we don't need the copy of it. So that's something you can do. And something else that you can do is you can so tap in and hold in on there, get the note options up there. And I can change it from a to-do type of note into a non-to-do note, an ordinary note, just by changing that there, taking the checkbox off. But let's look at this one here. This is a question type one here. What if I want to change that from a question to an ordinary note? I can't do it. If I click and hold on that there to get up the question options, I can put uh, question tags on there. So I can say it's an article, I can say it's whatever else and stuff like that. But I get all these other options, but I can't change it from a question note into a ordinary note or any other sort of note. And if I put a project in there, so let's put a project in there, click and hold down. I've got project tags, and same with this one there. I don't get the option to change that from being a project into something else. Maybe I want it to be a book or a page, but I don't get that option. Okay, well, this one here, see this one here where it says meeting and so on? What I might want to do with this here is I might want to take this and I might want to turn this outline here. That's uh, an actual text file that's been produced by ThinkBook and is an outline. What if I want to change this into an outline? So this meeting details, what I should be able to do is put the cursor in there. And I should be able to click on a button, turn it into a note. So the only way around to do something like that would be to do a bit of copy and pasting. So do a selection. So let's select from there down to there. And I'm going to do a cut and go to one of these notes that I made down the bottom here. So this one here, for instance, and I can do a paste. So I can do cut and paste there and make new notes out of that there, but it's going to be tedious. Imagine you've got a whole lot, a long lot of text there. That's all sort of this formatted stuff here and it's a template and you want to do it. Well, what you have to do then is you're going to have to find some other way of bringing these templates into ThinkBook. There is a way it can be done. Let's go to a place where you can get these templates. So this is in the ThinkBook tenderapp.com. And we've got a tickler file here. And what I can do with this here is I've tickled and hold down. I've got open in there. And what I'm going to do if I click on open, it's just going to open it up as a text file within the browser. Let's try selecting this here. Now that's going to be a pain in the bottom trying to select that. In fact, it hasn't even done a proper job of selecting it. So that's no bloody good, is it? OK, so let's uh, just go back on this one here. <coughs> to our template gallery. I click in holding down. Okay, so this time I'm going to click on copy. Now what that has done is to copy the URL for the text file. So I can prove that. Let's go to a text application. In fact we can go to ThinkBook, can't we? So let's go to ThinkBook. So there's the URL to that tickler file that we're trying to get into ThinkBook. And it's just brought it in as a URL. That's not much very good, is it? So this way I get around this. What you can do is you can go into another application called Goodreader. So let's go to Goodreader. So here we are in Goodreader. What I want to do is I want to do a new download. I've gone to Web Downloads. This is this one here. Look. Enter the URL. The URL that's on the clipboard already is going to be pasted in there already for me. And I'm just going to click on OK. And that file has been downloaded. In fact, it was only a small file, so it's been downloaded already. So I can do is go to that there. So the tickler file is in here now. And now what I can do is I can tap on that there. I can see there's the tickler file. But there again, it's just that lot of text again, isn't it? So let's go back to this here again. This time I'm going to do a click and hold down. So click, hold down. And I have it selected and I've got this uh, manage files option on here. Now you think that what you want to do is you want to go to move. But really what you want to do is you want to do upload. So let's click on upload. Because I want to upload it into the Dropbox folder for ThinkBook. So let's do some scrolling down to the bottom where the ThinkBook folder is. And here we are in the ThinkBook. And I've clicked on the ThinkBook folder. And now I'm in the ThinkBook folder. And once I've got the button at the bottom there where it says Upload, I can tap on that there. 
and I can upload one item now I actually can upload other items too so I could upload the two of those travel packing as well travel packing two, and upload two items well a file already exists because I've been doing this testing this how it works let's click on overwrite and that's now going to be in the thinkbook folder now we've got it in the thinkbook folder what we can do is we can go back into thinkbook and let's go to the top level of this again let's go to this thing on the side here where it's got the little gear icons and I'm going to do an import let's read a .txt file from Dropbox this would be so much better if it was done with OPML files but still the developer has said that is going to start it bringing your OPML which is the standard type of file for outlines it's going to bring it into Thinkbook but uh, you have to wait a while for that so anyway so here's our tickler file let's click on that it's importing the text file from Dropbox and it's put it onto the clipboard for us now we can choose where we want to put that so let's bring that down to there slide that over to the left and we've got our Dropbox import of tickler file I'm going to click on that there we can do a bit of uh, deleting to change the name of this page delete all that extra text that I don't want in there and we've got our tickler file in there so now I can tap on that there and instead of having all that t text that was there I've got the uh, projects in there and I've got all the stuff in there that I need in there so I can uh, look at this week this year it's all outline friendly how about that then it can be done so it could be possible if you don't have too many text applications on your iPad that you could get the open in pop-up menu which will allow you to open up directly into Thinkbook I haven't had that option so I've had to find another way around doing it I think it's to do with a 10 app limit that can go on to that open in thing and um, I've got a whole pile in there uh, already in there I don't know if it's possible to do any rejuggling to get Thinkbook at the top of the list anyway so this is Dave Allen don't forget to subscribe to these videos to make sure that you don't miss any and also click on the like button while you're thinking about it talk to you again soon bye bye now